subscribe to cancel culture, hookup culture, or victim culture? Well, neither could we. We created this platform for those other girls, girls like us, who want to give a different perspective from a Christian and conservative worldview. We talk about life, work, relationships, pop culture, and everything in between. So let's be those other girls that just don't talk about culture, but change culture. You are listening to our new segment, Dear Other Girl. I am super excited for this new segment. We are now going to be offering you guys solicited advice. Um, All you have to do is email dearothergirl at gmail.com. Any question you have, and we will give you any advice. um, And we'll read it on the show if it's not too weird. Now, you know, if you ask us some strange something or another, it might not be read. But um, if it's something interesting, we'll read it. So and today, and and we're oh. doing this all in ten minutes or less, you guys. We're planning to do this hopefully several times a week, so that you are always reminded that TOG is relevant, and it's a great way for us to keep up with you, you to keep up with us. Because unfortunately, the hour-long episodes they don't cut it because so much no. happens, and we have so much to talk about. So hopefully, you guys enjoy this new content, and we're looking forward to hearing all of your predicaments. Yes, and ask us anything. And I want to say it can range from anything political to Mm -hmm. personal to um, anything. And we'll give our best advice. At the end, I probably will say IDK, though, because if it doesn't work out, I do not want to be blamed. But um, (laughs) we will give our best advice. So um, since this is our very first episode and we haven't really promoted the new um, show or new segment, I found a really good like question um on the am i the a word uh reddit page so okay yes everybody and this is very interesting we i'm sure we're gonna have thoughts all right here we go am i the a-hole for getting rid of a bridesmaid's dress listen Mm. to what i'm gonna say everybody My brother's 25th wedding anniversary is in two months. My sister-in-law sent out an invitation last week to a party in November that reprises the wedding, requesting all wedding party members to dress in the wedding party outfits. Since the wedding, I have moved states several times for school and work and currently live on the opposite coast. I was 16 when the wedding occurred and was one of four bridesmaids. I told her I was excited to come, but I no longer had the bridesmaid dress. I offered to find a lavender dress reminiscent of the original dress. She became very angry, telling me that I was the only bridesmaid that could that could come and that it completely ruined the party idea that I no longer have the dress. She was incredibly Mm -hmm. hurt that I would disregard Mm -hmm. such an important memory. That was in quotes. My brother then disinvited me entirely, saying that I had no right to get rid of the dress because my mom bought it. So it wasn't really yours. And that they, my brother and sister-in-law, should have been notified and giving first dibs when I decided to donate it years ago. It was such an important part of their memory of that day. Of note, my mother died 18 years ago, and this was after I donated it to Goodwill, but TBH, I didn't discuss the donation with her. It never occurred to me that they would be so offended by something like this. Am I the a-hole for not letting them know that I was getting rid of the dress? Should I have offered it to them when I... Killed my wardrobe. I guess that means change. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I I'm just weirded out by the entire situation. Okay, so any advice you have for this woman? I really hope that this is like just you know a uh, emotional situation that's like emotionally charged and after you know a week of like time and energy they just come back and they're like listen i really don't feel like she did anything wrong i mean i hope that i would never put that kind of pressure on my bridesmaids i hope that if they have donated it somebody else is wearing it and enjoying it like also who fits into a wedding to a dress that they were wearing at 16 like that like the logistics what it was and it's 25 years later literally so what does that make her like 40 yeah um i don't know what world this bride is living in but it's a no for me 
Yeah. I definitely don't think that she was in the wrong at all. I think that it's so interesting because, you know, I haven't had a wedding. Um, but from weddings I've seen, and this isn't a dig at anyone that I've seen in the wedding, it's a very high emotional time. Mm-hmm. We, people want things to be perfect, as they should. I Every time I'm in a wedding, I always say, for the next 24 hours, I will do anything you say except for murder. I tell all my friends that when I'm in your <laughs> wedding need me to go do something ridiculous stand outside with my hand on to stop the i don't know i'll do it because it's such an emotional stop traffic time. stop the traffic I'll, I'll jump off the bridge for you this one time no but like it's such an emotional high stress time so in my head i'm like but that was 25 years ago like if she had said this like around that time that's why i brought it up around that time like it would make sense but like this was 25 years ago that's crazy for her to still expect her to still have that dress yeah and like she it wasn't like it was like okay guys you know this time next year or this time in five years we're gonna be doing a party and it's gonna be really cute i mean honestly the bride had a great idea that's really really cute and i love that that is adorable yeah. But like there's a reason that it's so cute and so rare because the logistics just don't work out. Like I don't even think I know where my veil is to be honest with you. Oh wow. Okay. Well that was <laughs> so... like a year ago. That's Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like my I'm pretty sure my dress is like collecting dust. Like I don't even think I have it wrapped nicely. Like I think there's a level of superficiality going on right now where it's like, I want everything to be perfect and I'm still a bridezilla 25 years later. Absolutely, yeah. You don't get to pull like the I'm a bride card 25 years later. No, no. So, sweet sister, you are not in the wrong. Your sister-in-law is acting a little crazy. The only thing I I could be thinking of is I wonder if the dress... is this about the dress? Now I'm thinking, like, is this really about the dress? Like, is there something else we're missing? Exactly. Was the dress made of gold? Was there, did they sew, like, money into the sleeves of the dress and we just don't know it? Did Jesus's, like, like heel step on it? (laughs) Right, right. Like, I I feel like I'm missing something because it should not be this. There's just, maybe the dress was more sentimental more than just the wedding. Like, the dress was in the middle because of the wedding, obviously. But, like, yeah, maybe the was bride more... made buy it herself. And that's another valid point as well. Like, if the, if, the, if, the bri- if the bride bought it for her, then, like, that's a really kind thing to do. And, like, I could understand more her being, like, how could you do that? That was a gift. But like, it's 25 years. <laughs> that's, that's what I keep getting hung up on. It's 25 okay. years ago. It's 25 years ago. Like, there's no reason how old am i i'm 28 never mind i was gonna say i don't have clothes from 25 years ago but yeah i was three um <laughs> do so, you still but, fit in them because <laughs> this lady probably doesn't <laughs> so i that's a funny thought um so yeah i don't think she did anything wrong um that's weird hopefully family family dynamics can be weird so hopefully it won't be a long time that um that they're like not talking yeah, and what I can't understand is the brother. Like, I feel like that should have been the mediating force. Yes, you should always side with your wife, even if she's being ridiculous. I mean, publicly, I think you should side with her. But yeah. privately, I really hope there's a conversation going on where he's kind of like, why are you being a I bridezilla 25 years later? Yeah, and like, you know, your sibling bond is very different than like a husband and wife bond. So mm-hmm. that's the other thing that's kind of strange. Like. I mean, with me and my brother, we always, we have, like, a code, and we always Mm -hmm. go, anything happened is, like, blood is thicker than water. Like, we always Mm -hmm. feel like that. So that's the other weird thing to me. But my brother is so, like, chill. I cannot imagine him marrying someone that would even, like, care. Like, yeah. Which, you know, and if they both don't care, then I guess that means I'm planning their wedding. But anyway, (laughs) that's neither here nor there. (laughs) <laughs> thank you guys for listening to the segment um if you guys have any questions or anything like that that you want us to answer if you need advice on anything please email dear other girl at gmail.com bye bye